I'll show most Muslims what happens in a slaughterhouse where animals are having their head cut off. They feel sick, they don't want to see it. Could you pay me to kill a cow right now? So when you get a sharp knife and slash it across your throat, do you think that you would suffer? There's a more compassionate option than halal now. Which one would the devil want us to choose? No, brother. Oh, pa brother. Plants you have no brain. No, no, plants no, no. have no brain. You go study, brother. You go study more. This is another way they trick Muslims as well. Halal is just a label they use, but the halal chickens come out of these farms. Yeah, yeah, do. They don't have different farms for halal. It's just about the slaughter yeah, here slaughter. in the UK. Yeah, yeah. It's not really halal here in the UK. What do you mean? All the animals here are factory farmed, yeah. and those animals suffer horrible lives. Do you feel like if the animal has suffered, that that would be haram? Yeah, yeah, if the animal yeah. suffered, yeah. So do you follow the animal to the slaughterhouse from the farm? You know exactly what's happening to them? The animal has to be treated well, like, obviously. Yeah, that's loaded. Of They're all factory farmed here. Yeah, the chickens are all factory farmed. They're suffering. So they take these chickens out of the factories and they take them to the halal slaughterhouse to kill them. If you're getting them from a factory farm, they could take it to a halal slaughterhouse, call it halal. You're not watching them be slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't watch them be raised. Do you, you have your eyes in the farm no. or do you trust the butcher? You know, what happens is a Muslim might go up to the butcher, the butcher will say, this is halal. And they trust the butcher. But they don't know anything that happened down the line. True. We believe in the, in the butchers. Like the butchers, they have special farms, the specialty. Uh, they buy from special people. Actually, this is my job. That's why I'm here. Ah, oh, slaughter worker. You stun them first. That yeah. yeah, you shoot them with the. No, 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 no. No, no we shoot. didn't shoot. Non-stun halal slaughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is halal way. We didn't, we didn't shoot. Just a knife. Straight no, away. Yeah, we yeah. Just catch it from like backside leg. Yeah, yeah. Leg the head down and. Traditional halal slaughter where yeah, they don't yeah, see each other. See no, we don't see each other. We okay. didn't see the knife. We didn't see each other. Yeah. We have a problem actually. Uh, in one of the rules, the animal should not be slaughtered in front of each other. No. We can't find halal like this uh, to in the be UK. slaughtered. No, uh, because they are slaughtering in the same place. They see each other. They hear each other. Yeah. And yeah. this is. This is not halal. You don't know that they're not dying in fear. They, you don't know they don't see each other be killed, which is not, not halal. The way they're slaughtering them here, they're all stunned. They're stunning them, or they. That's you the know. thing, like, and then that obviously invalidates the. It, yeah. Halal, it's stunned. You know, many of the animals here in the halal slaughterhouses are actually stunned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know that. Yeah. So, what do you think about all the Muslims that are eating the stunned halal animals? Yeah, but this, this is halal. It's not halal. It's no, not, it's not halal. But. You eat milk and eggs, and yeah. do you think those dairy cows go to a halal slaughterhouse? Uh, no. Dairy products always involves the calf being taken from the mum, so maternal trauma. If they keep them pregnant, take the children. Keep them pregnant, take the children. Take the milk, take the milk. They um, and then they slaughter them. And then they're not slaughtered halal. Yeah. You know, egg industry, the suffering chit hens in the in the in the cages that they're. It's not halal. Like I mean, a good I, point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like in the the egg right. industry yeah, is yeah. the egg industry is always suffering. Mm -hmm. And the halal is no suffering. Yeah. Or they have to minimize suffering in this certain way. I've also seen uh, proper orthodox uh, halal slaughter where they have them and they don't let them see each other. I've seen that too. I've seen the animals yeah, struggling we do, we do, and we suffering. Yeah, I still see them suffering. If you told them in the right way, it's, uh, they will not feel anything, no fear, nothing. Just one time, you know. No, I've seen like the, I've seen orthodox I've seen orthodox halal slaughter. I've seen it. I've seen it multiple times, and they do get scared and they do suffer. Look at this. Needs two people. The animal's struggling. Oh yeah, thanks for the water, mate. I'm bonding with you. You know, feeling for the jugular vein. Horrible. Horrible. The animal's struggling in pain. They, if the animal suffer, we're not allowed to eat it in our religion. Yeah. Just to make that. So when you get a sharp knife and slash it across your throat, do you think that you would suffer? They'll suffer for a few seconds, they'll die. That's okay, well, wait, wait a second. Okay. You just admitted that they'll suffer for a few seconds. Yeah, obviously. Any, any animal, if you put his head above, going to suffer. Yeah, well, if I cut your head right now, you would choke on your blood. Yeah, exactly. You would feel the pain of me cutting through your nerves. Exactly. There's nerves all in here, you're suffering. And if you have a knife cut across your windpipe and through your main vein, you start losing blood, you start getting scared. So if the animal suffers, they are haram. Have you witnessed halal slaughter? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. I did it with my own hands on the Eid. We are advised to take a very sharp knife so we don't like make a mistake and like cut half of it and then again we like slice the goat. No. Okay. One slice and that's it. I've seen. Yeah, you've seen. Yeah. I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's good to do? It's something because. It's everybody... a good thing to do, do you believe? That's what I want to know. Uh, slaughter animals because you eat animals. Your God, my God, same. He's provide for you to yeah. eat the lovely animal. But do not hurt the way they chopping. Uh, listen, yeah. the, why the uh, animal get pain and hurt, right? Pain, right? Pain. Harm. Ha harms, yeah. Because the God said. Like a knife in the throat is yeah, harm. Harm. Yeah, but harm no, no, to no. you, harm to me, yeah, but, harm to the animal. Yeah. But God say in the Quran, 
if you going to cut the animal, the name of God who is greater, but you should be have a knife, very sharp. Yeah. Halal. Halal, halal. Halal, halal. Very sharp. And the blood should be automatically drained, the blood, all the blood drained. All the blood? Yeah. Can you drain all the blood from an animal? Yes, because okay. they have a um, nuts, okay. you know, the muscles, which one you need to cut. And you then it makes eat. it... Yeah. Okay. So made... God made animals to be eaten. Then why did he make them to feel pain, suffer and want to live? What do you mean? Well, well animals everyone, can... Everyone suffers. So, yeah, but, the animals. Yeah, but you think plants can suffer? Do you I think a tomato I don't, I don't can suffer? Feeling. I don't have the feeling. So if one has feelings, animals have feelings, why did he make them with feelings? I don't know. Well, that's a pretty silly thing to do. If they were meant to be food, why didn't he just make them not be able to feel pain? They feel pain, yeah. yeah. They feel pleasure, happiness. Yeah. They care for their children. You've seen a cow with their, their young, they care for their young. Yeah. So God ma made them with all of, these, all of these qualities. They care for their young, they feel pain. They want to live, they don't want to die. That's why you have to be careful not to see that, you know, you're making sure you don't make them scared or suffer as halal, yeah? When you eat bread and hummus and chickpeas, when you boil it, when you cut a tomato, do you don't feel the same way as when you see a cow get their head cut off, do you? Yeah, um, well, so when you see a tomato get cut, you don't feel bad? No. But they've got a life as okay. well, haven't they? There's no brain there, there's no one inside of there. Like you both are subjects of a life. Yeah. Like you, there's someone in there. In a chicken, they're a subject. In that pigeon there, there's a subject. They want to avoid pain and distress and they want to... A tree is rooted into the ground, there's no brain, no nervous system, no, no subject, there's no one in there. When you look into the eyes of an animal, there's someone in there. That's why there's no halal slaughter of carrots, is there? Yeah. Is there halal slaughter of carrots? No, no, no. Okay. You're... Would a loving, compassionate God want us to cause unnecessary harm to an animal when we can choose something else? You and me, God's children, we have a choice. Yeah, to, to cut animals' heads off or to eat a vegan option, which means plants, okay? Which don't scream in pain, which, which don't... No, no, no. Okay, no, no. no pain. Let's just say no pain. Animal or the plants will get pain. Let, you don't? No, brother. Oh, pa brother. Plants have no, no brain. No, no, plants no, no. have no brain. You study, brother. You go study more. I've researched this, the eh? trees, the plants, the vegetables get pain. No, they don't. They don't have no brain. Yeah? Does a plant have a brain? The, the scholar say already. The scholar say no, no, no. Intelligence. Fruit, no, no, no. Plant intelligence is different to feeling pain. Feeling pain is sentience, two different things, okay? Plants move with the sun, yeah? They drink the water, they, they move with the sun. This is intelligence, it's not feeling, not pain. Pain, you need res uh, nerves, you need a brain, okay? okay? Different. If you think of your religion as trying its best to make the animal not suffer, yeah. you think of your religion, right? They're, they're, saying, they're saying, hello, you know, make sure they don't suffer, they don't see each other, they're not scared, okay? This is what they're trying to do. It doesn't exist in this reality. But in the, you know, They're trying to find the best way to take the animal's life because it's about compassion. Yeah. Okay. Then what's more compassionate about than just not le than just leaving the animal as it is? And then leaving them in the sanctuary, leave them be. Don't ki don't don't cut their head off at all. What's more compassionate than that? You know, obviously they thought killing animals was wrong. Otherwise, they they wouldn't be trying to find this amazing way of doing it where they're not scared and not suffering and all these things. So they think your religion even says that animals have enough moral value not to get them scared and make them suffer or cause them pain. Yeah. Yeah. So they think they have moral value. So why not just avoid sure. eating them? I love talking to Muslims because it's the only religion that I've seen that has something in there, like a standard for how animals should be treated. So that shows me there should be compassion for animals. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And compassion for animals is what? Why don't we not eat them? Not cut their heads off? That's the most compassionate thing you can do. When the Quran was written in this time, they maybe didn't have a choice. Now you have choice. Why would you choose to cut an animal's head off? Choose to eat their bodies? When there's a more compassionate option than halal now. Uh, we have to distinguish between the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and our present time. One might be able to say that in his time, that was the nature of life and the level of, of um, awareness of the difficulties that animals go through and so on. One could not do better at that time than to eat animals. Mm. At, at the present time, if one can do better and one feels merciful towards the animals, one is aware of the, the way in which animals are being ill-treated 
uh, in, in mass production factories uh, and farms, then uh, one can say, okay, I'm not going to have any part of that. This is too cruel and God has provided us with other means of subsistence now. Uh, so we don't need to eat animals. In the worst case scenario where I have to kill you, I'm going to kill you as compassionately as I can. Beg is quick, you know, but I don't have to kill you. Yeah. And we don't have to kill the animals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So really, it's a needless thing now. Muslims have the halal thing, but every other one, everyone else has their own little excuse. It's yeah. like, oh, but protein, oh, I need iron or... I only ever eat free-range animals, that's a big one, but yeah. I've seen free-range places, they all go to the same, same slaughterhouses. If you believe that God gave you this loophole where if you do it a certain way, it's passable, but we've also got the choice not to do it as well yeah. and that you still can be a good Muslim. Like what, do you have to slaughter an animal on Eid to sacrifice or can you give in other ways, charity in other ways? Is there a requirement in your religion to do this? No, no, in like Eid al-Fitr, this Eid that we celebrated like days ago, we give Eid to the people, we give money to the people. That's good. Yeah, we give money to the people, money to our kids and people who are younger than us, we have to give them the money. There's ways to sacrifice without yeah. killing an animal. Could you pay me to kill a cow right now? What about uh, the halal way? This is Daisy the cow, okay? We face the cow to Mecca. I do a, the proper prayer. I go the sharp knife. I cut through to the back of their throat, through their, whatever this artery is. And you see the cow struggling, bleeding. I've seen it in my life, to be honest. Do the cows go willingly? No, actually. Do they, no, do they try to struggle and breathe? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, they're yeah. trying to survive. And I feel bad, and sometimes they cry, and then I said, oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like they want to, to be sacrificed. Yeah. Well, can you kill an animal yourself? No, I wouldn't. Wait, wait a second. Animals were put here for you if I and to, to be eaten. Why if can't I you? To, oh, well, wait a second. Wait. If you had to, but. I, would, what, I, personally, I personally would kill an animal. What would, how would it make you feel to kill an animal right now? I don't know. So, but that, that's, what, that's what we have special people to do with. No, no, I was just I'm wondering. Not, not. I was just wondering, like, what would happen to your emotions if you sliced a lamb's head off right now? If I have to, then I will. On no, no, need, no, no, need, 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 I've done it before. What, what would happen to your emotions? Nothing really. You wouldn't feel a thing? Do you crazy. sacrifice an animal every Eid? Uh, every year on Eid, yeah. You do? Yeah, I do myself. How do you feel about it? Uh, I do quick and because it is promised that the animal, the goat, uh, is like, you know, for our own sake, there are like religious things in it and we believe and uh, because many people are eating goat over there. Okay. Like, the whole world is. So okay. you, you couldn't pay me to kill the cow, but you pay other people to do it all the time when you don't see it. Yes. <laughs> if God wanted you to eat animals, why do you feel bad when you see them be killed? Well, God doesn't want me to eat animals. It's my choice, do you know what I mean? Does when you sense? make a choice, what do you listen to? When you make a decision, you use your conscience and your mind and your logic. And who gave those to you? If God created you, you have a conscience. When an animal doesn't want to die, you don't want to kill them. If you believe in God, that has to be God speaking to you. Would you show your children? Do you have children? Yes, yeah. I have Okay, you show your children halal slaughterhouse. Okay, do you think that would make them want to eat these animals? Or would that make them scared? They would be scared. How could they okay, they'd be scared. Yeah. Now, God created your children, yeah? Okay, now why would God create your children to be afraid of their own food? Brother. Why? Why? He's very smart, God. Uh -huh, of course, okay? God is God. Is God, God is God. God. Intelligent. Yeah, of course. He God give is... your children the gift of right and wrong. They see halal slaughter. Halal slaughter. They would be scared. Any human Kids. makes them very sick. Me too. Now, we have vegan options, alternatives. God put them there for us too. Yeah? Which one would he want us to choose and which one would the devil want us to choose? You believe God created you with a conscience. You know, you believe God that created animals, but God also created them to suffer. Um, I show most Muslims what happens in a slaughterhouse where animals are having their head cut off. They feel sick. They don't want to see it. This is awful. You know, um, I just don't know how, how, why God would make humans be disgusted when they see an animal get their head cut off. The animals are actually suffering and really want to live. I just still feel like, like, if God is compassionate, loving, caring, all loving, and we have a choice to not have slaughterhouses, I just don't see why not. You look at a slaughterhouse, halal, certified, an animal, their, their fear in their eyes when they had their throats slit. I've watched it. Have you seen the footage? Not nice. Not nice. Now, is that food when we have plant-based alternatives that don't make your children sick? If I am a buyer, I go to a butcher shop, 
he is doing in in front of me he doesn't torture it he just sacrifice it all right and then he give the meat to me that's fine but if you are taking the meat in thousand quantity quantity matter and then that then they do this to the animals basically that strong because it's still a living animal in my philosophy i don't think it's right to kill an animal if it's needless if i don't need to eat an animal i don't do it it is on you what do you eat but it is given to us what we can eat and what we cannot eat we cannot eat eat cat and dog what would god say if i just uh, killed a dog in a halal way and just used him as a jacket no, that that's only god says that's only if it's like the last resort like if there's no plants no animals if you're in the desert by yourself then you could eat a dog if you don't have a dog okay that's all but first resort cut a sheep's head off no worries even if there's plants available yeah yeah i think it's completely inconsistent personally i think it's inconsistent i, I think there's there's no point you don't have to it's needless it's cruel yeah. you know they suffer you can it all goes down to what you believe in yeah well you believe it too because you just you believe they suffer when they have their throat slashed open yeah, yeah, yeah let's just say we take a dog yeah. we slash their throat open it's quick really we say a prayer yeah, yeah, yeah. face makeup say the prayer slash their throat open you don't think this dog's gonna be <laughs> drowning on their own blood four or five maybe 50 seconds 30 seconds no the, the dog's the same exactly the same in the way they suffer they want to live no need of eating a dog right so you don't have to kill them. There's no need to eat a lamb either. Uh, what well, lamb meat is halal for us, so we do eat. <laughs> yeah, but there's no need to do it. <laughs> what? You yeah. have a choice. So you can choose not to what kill, every, not to eat yeah, animals that have been killed. You can choose. Yeah. You can be no chicken. Yeah. It's up to you. Do you think it's better to live a life where we don't cut animals' heads off? It's not like how um, we choose. You think I it's better, not. like you, you know, if the animals. What's stronger, the an, the lamb's preference to live, or your preference to have a quick meal? Well, at the end of the day, they are gonna die as well if we don't eat them. Yeah, <laughs> so well, maybe of old age, people? you're gonna die anyway. I don't want to kill you and eat you. It's completely halal to be vegan. Yeah, you can be vegan. You are not stopped. Yeah. Because so it, you have a choice. Yeah, you have a choice. You have a choice at the end of the day. It's your preference. I we can be vegan and Muslim. We yeah. can be vegan and Christian. Yeah, but I God so doesn't say not to be I, vegan. I, I so why are, you, why are you going to all this trouble to not make an animal suffer when you can just not eat them? They don't suffer at all. It's always halal. halal. Vegan food is always halal. Mm. You never have to worry about how they're raised. If the, if the, the butcher did the right job, did it, did it really quick. When you eat vegan, it's always halal. It's, it's, to be vegan is, is compatible with Islam. It's safer to be plant-based, then, then you know, you know it's all halal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no suffering, there's no animals. Yeah. It's better for the earth, it's better for your health. If every Muslim went vegan, do you know how much less suffering and killing there would be on the earth? It'd be amazing. And, and, and it's destroying God's earth, uh, raising animals as well, which is another point. Destroying God's earth, because the, 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 they have to grow food to feed the animals, and then we eat the animals, and that food needs to be watered, and they need cropland. So that's destroying God's earth. Like, why? Why would God want this? I just don't understand why God would want this. Something more sustainable, better for your health, and less suffering. I don't get why every Muslim isn't vegan. I mean, it would be a, a beautiful world, and uh, less blood and killing. If you eat too much meat, you, you'll get heart disease and die. Yeah. You know, and uh, meat's destroying the planet, it's cruel to the animals, it's just everything. If you believe in God and Allah and things yeah. like this, it's everything against, you know, why would you create yeah. this monstrosity of factory farming to destroy his own earth? To be honest, I, I would like to be more vegan and vegetarian if I could. But I, and I can, I'm sure I can. Right from wrong, in your heart, God gave you that. Don't listen to anyone else. Listen to your conscience. Mm -hmm. What does it say when you see animals being murdered against their will? I'm like you, brother. Yeah, I'm just like you. Of course, man. I love you. I have, I have a business. I'm doing business yeah. here. I saw you. I gave him a restaurant, coffee, coffee shop here. Yeah. I yeah. have kebab shop because I have many customers in the world. So we love each other. We don't have any yeah. hidden. Yeah. God says. I'm like you. I want love. I want peace. Yes, man. Okay, me too. like God wants. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Okay. But, uh, I want peace for all beings, yes. not just us. Yeah. Animals. We don't need to do this to survive. Okay. If we were gonna die, maybe you can eat an animal to survive okay maybe maybe I personally wouldn't I'd rather die but you know you have justification we have no justification to do this to innocent beings thank you so much man. I enjoy your talk to brother. brother thank you so much what do you think about that yeah well, you have a kebab shop you sell falafel yeah falafel hummus. falafel doesn't falafel's food yeah lamb is an infant a child think about that my friend thank you so much brother God bless you, mate. You too, brother.